the battle begins. I actually have people who... Wait, this is the intro, what the hell? Pfft. Hello everybody, welcome back to this YouTube channel. My name is Julia and in today's clip, I'm actually putting two products in battle. Let's see if the e.l.f. Feeling Shady Shade Putty Bronzer is a good dupe for the Fenty Amber Sticks. Uh, sticks in shade Amber. Um, I actually told in my e.l.f. review that I can do that. I can do this and some of you were like yes please actually do it like show us if it's actually a dupe a really good dupe for it so therefore that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna apply them side by side i'm gonna swatch them side by side and let's see because i'm as curious as yourself because you see i did not swatch them next to each other just so i can have a really honest kind of like uh, you know reaction to it so let's jump into applying them so um when it comes to the packaging and stuff, this is in a pot, as you can see, while this one is in a stick form. Obviously, I used both of them and this is not the first impression, this is more of a like, let's see if they are dupes. I'm as curious as you are because I actually did not use them next to each other side by side. However, in the pot, this feels like it seems a tinge bit creamier, while this one seems a bit more dry. Let me just zoom you in. I don't know if it can, like it picks on the camera but i feel this one from elf it's just a tinge creamier so obviously the advantage with the fenty one is that you don't need to get like a brush to apply it precisely and stuff so you just go dup da dup and i'm just gonna go like so around here um let's go also on the left just half of it also the nose so yeah, this is gonna be the side with Fenty, while the one with e.l.f., the only kind of like disadvantage is you need a brush to actually maneuver the product, different than this one, which obviously can't, it comes like in a tube, you're just gonna like tuck, 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 tuck. So a brush that I have really nicely for that is this, which is a very old, no name, it's called Fake Face Angled Contour Brush, but I mean, wait a second, let me just clean it for a bit. So the way this one is, it's kind of like angled and very like dense. So it allows me to apply like on my face, on my nose, with the tip. So yeah, it's a really nice brush. If you find this kind of like form to it, buy it. I actually really use it a lot. And like I said, this is a no name brush. So unfortunately I can't give you any reference to it. So what I do is take it as such, just on the big kind of like side to it because obviously i'm gonna apply it here i feel this one is more big bit a tinge bit pigmented am i dreaming and i feel it's a bit warmer yeah i think so let me let me just apply more i mean just to figure out if it's a, a difference You know what? I'm, why am I stupid? Let's swatch them next to each other on my hand. Right. So this is the e.l.f. feeling shady. And now let's go with the... Yeah, it's definitely... The Fenty one is more pigmented, as you can see. Uh, which is this one. Yeah. This is the Fenty. This is the e.l.f. And at the same time, do you see it has a more warmth to it on this side? Well, this one is actually pure, like gray, straight gray. Like there's, I mean, I feel there's a bit warmth into that one as well, but it's not too much, not to the point you can see it in here. But that could obviously be impacted by the fact that Fenty one, the Fenty one seems more pigmented. So obviously it kind of shows more color rather than the Fenty, the uh, Elf one. Right now I'm gonna just apply to the rest of the face and then we're gonna blend. And see, now I'm taking this side like so, just kind of like go tap tap tap, and I'm using it as such. I feel that's the only kind of like disadvantage with this one from e.l.f. is that you kind of need the brushes. Um, the pot will not be able to help you out. Obviously, we can see here the difference, god damn it. Yeah, because obviously, 
when I swatched it on my hand, I kind of like went da da da. But here I'm just going like up. Uh, and you can still see this is more like on the warmer side while this is quite gray. On to the blending part. So I have here a very old expert brush from Real Techniques, which I'm gonna maneuver everything on this side. And I realized I need another brush for this side. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush. Although it has some foundation on it, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna clean it. Um, and this one, they, they are the same brush, but they are from different generations. And this one is much better than new one. Um, and I also have this tiny one from Real Techniques for the nose, but I need another one for the other side, which I'm gonna use this one. I mean, it doesn't matter what brush I use. It's the, the theory behind it is you need a smaller brush for the nose and a bigger brush for the face. But it doesn't, for example, in this case, uh, I really like this one from Real Techniques, the 308 which is really nice, but any can do really seriously. Like it just needs to be a tinge like it's small. Right, okay, cool. Let's blend it out. So this is gonna be the Fenty side. And I mean, since, yeah, let's, let's explain what I do. I always get up the product. And it's a really nice kind of like natural contour. Um, you can always achieve that with, with cream contour, to be completely honest, that's what I feel. So yeah, you can see it did not move my foundation, it's not nothing, you know, it's a really good, uh, what is it called? It's a really good contour, not gonna lie about it, but it's really expensive. So yeah. I like the one from e.l.f. too, it's just I'm curious if it's gonna be a huge difference, like a noticeable difference. If not, then hope we have a dupe. Now onto the nose, so what I do is kind of like maneuver it as such. Oh, and also the lip. Let's go on the Fent Elf, Elf, on the Elf side. As you can see, it's a tiny bit harder that my brush come on get up um as you can see it kind of is a bit harder to maneuver it to actually blend it out it did not move the foundation underneath which is great like that has a plus point to it to be completely honest i never noticed that i work a bit more with this side rather than the fenty beauty side but it seems like so um it could be also the brush, but I, yeah, no, um, you can see it's a bit patchier around the edges, but there's nothing like, let's see, I mean, I've worked with this one before, so it's not like I don't know it works well, okay, um, I like this one too, it's just, seriously, I did not even notice, oh, I forgot about this side, I thought I forgot about the other side too, it's not like you can't work with it, it's just a teeny, a tinge, like, from what it seems, yeah, uh, a bit more like hustle with the hand, that's it. Right, and now let's do the nose. We're gonna take this brush and just uh, do, 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 do. Let me finish off my face and I'll be right back with some final thoughts and what I believe about like Elf versus Fenty, which one is like great, which one I recommend or if I recommend both really. Right, so, so far, the base looks really nice, as you can see. And I mean, you can't tell. I actually used two different contour shades, like two different brands. The shades look really, really similar, but it's true. I feel the e.l.f. one looks much more like less uh, pigmented and it looks much more like it's not as warm as the Fenty one, I feel. So if you want something more pigmented and something that sculpts you like a bit more and you don't use bronzer in general, I think maybe Fenty could be a good choice for you. But if you use bronzer, you can't tell that much. But I feel without the bronzer bit, um, it's not a huge noticeable difference, but this one sculpts you a teeny tiny bit better. 
Not a huge difference. If you don't want to spend the money on the Fenty one, I think the e.l.f. one does the job. However, at the same time, I feel this one blends much easier. So many people said in the beginning when she launched this that it's not that easily blendable and I really disagree. I think it's the most easiest cream kind of product blendable that I have ever, ever used. And I thought this one it's easy to blend as well, but today when I put them side by side, I realized the Fenty one blends much quicker and easier than the one from e.l.f. But that's not to say it's necessarily having a bad result. It's just you need to be like a bit more like with circle motions in, in the spot on the elf side. So yeah, I think both of them are great for their, you know, price point. This is cheap. You want to start, you know, experimenting with contouring. Go definitely for the elf one. Don't invest into the uh, Fenty one. However, if you're like into makeup and you know the drill and you're just kind of like want, want to up your game, I think Fenty is actually really good and it's easier to kind of like go with it. I think that's the most advantage to it that makes me gra grasp to it more because I just like open the, 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 and that's it. When, while, while it's with the elf one, you need a brush that is like quite uh, small enough so you can go wherever you want to go in like the right amount of quantity so you don't go overboard um so yeah i hope by any means this video made you decide which one to get and it was helpful let me know in the comments down below which one you would prefer or which one you're definitely gonna go for like i said if you're into the makeup as a beginner definitely go with the elf there's like it's it's amazing it's actually really amazing i still use it that doesn't mean I don't uh, love the Fenty one as well. I think in in a way I, I kind of like underlined the fact that they are different and good in their own way. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this clip. It was useful, relevant. Like this clip as always, subscribe and enjoy the next clip. Bye.